energy can never be created or destroyed. It can just be turned from one type of energy to another. So that means we can't make any more energy than is already in the world, and we also can't get rid of it. So people, we eat food to give us our energy, and we call that kind of energy chemical energy. Now while I sit here, and while you're sitting watching this video, you're turning that chemical energy into all sorts of different types of energy. So inside your body, lots of things are moving. Your lungs are moving on their own, and your digestive system is moving on its own. That's called kinetic energy. That's when anything is moving, it's kinetic energy. Your body is also making a little bit of heat to keep you nice and warm. So you're making heat energy. I'm making sound energy because I'm talking. I'm also making movement energy when I move my mouth. So if I didn't eat enough food, I wouldn't have any energy and I wouldn't be able to do all those different things. It's the same with your jumping popper that looks like this. So the first thing that happens is I need to turn it inside out. So the energy to turn it inside out came from my hands. So that was my movement energy or my kinetic energy. And the energy for that came from the food that I've eaten, so chemical energy. So we've already had some energy transfers. None of the energy has been created or destroyed, it's just been changed. So it started with chemical energy from my food. I turned that into kinetic energy in my hands and I used that kinetic energy to turn this inside out. Now this is a strange kind of energy that we've got now. It's called potential energy. And that means that nothing's happening at the moment, but that something could happen as soon as I let go. It's the same as if you squash a spring or stretch an elastic band. We'd say those things have potential energy. Now when I put it down, it's going to go slightly out of the shot, so you won't be able to see it. But you might see it when it jumps up. Okay, so the potential energy made this flip inside out like this. More kinetic energy, because it made it move, which hit the table, which made kinetic energy that made it go up in the air. And there was also a little bit of sound energy. You might have heard the pop and probably a little bit of heat energy because any time something moves, it normally creates a little bit of heat, even if we didn't want it to. So now hopefully you can see how energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it's changed from one type of energy to another type of energy. Have a think about that with some of the things around your home. Your TV turns electrical energy into sound energy, light energy, and also probably a little bit of heat energy. Most things tend to create heat energy, even if we don't want them to. Have a look and see all the different energy transfers around in your house.